Hey guys, we are about to shop the cards for sale, so let's go see. Gray, Sydney, not pink, gray. Oh, this is really pretty though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's fine. It's a sweat skirt. It is a sweat skirt. And I thought it was gonna be too bulky, but after I tried on the jacket, it's actually kind of thin. I have high hopes, Sid. High, high hopes. <laughs> it's kind of bathrobe-y and I don't mind it. It's good, right? This is a sweatshirt. I'm looking at your face, Sid. Yeah, it's good? Yeah. This is it's a lot of color for me, Sydney. A lot of color. Um, what's over here? Oh, I don't know what this is, but this is cute. This is too much, right? <laughs> it's very bright. Yeah, it really is. You're laughing though. You can't even say it with a straight face. We're gonna try it on, Sydney. I don't know if they have anything in my size right now. Hiking pants. I like it. Okay. Oh, hey. Look at how cute this is. I like it. Oh my God. Sydney, do we like this color? Yes. Yes? <laughs> or, or wait. So do we like this or black? Which one? I know you will wear the black more. Yeah, it's probably true. I'm losing my shirt. <laughs> so everything's really complicated right now. Oh, it has sleeves. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna try it. Um, stripes are never out, Sydney. Oh, cute, right? Yeah. Waterproof, fully waterproof. Yeah? I like this. Okay, so Free People has a couple of these like super cute jackets in the sale. They're like little puffer jackets and they have like collar details. They're great. And when you wear it open, you can also cinch it. My only picky note that kind of bugs me is once you cinch it, it's not actually stretchy, so you can't then close it. So you have to uncinch in order to close the jacket again and snap it up. So that is like annoying. I feel like Half Days does a kind of a better job with that cinching and elastic waist bottom, but this is pretty cute. Comes in black and let me show you the other color. Oh. <laughs> this is a no. I feel like I love this jacket. I don't think I'd want it in white. It's very white. This Vince dress was like the biggest surprise of the morning so far. Online it looks completely shapeless, but in reality it's like linen and lovely and like a little sexy because of the plunging neckline. But yeah, it's like, it's not form fit. It's actually a little shapeless, but it's actually like cut just really nice and easy. So yay then. <laughs> So once again, the soy and kyo coats are great. I just tried on three of them and all three are fabulous. They're like kind of a car coat, not super heavy, so comfortable. And then this bag is so cute. I'm liking these page wide legs too. And uh, Mark Fisher boots, which are totally comfortable. Okay. I think I'm done. <laughs> All right, guys, I've been trying a ton of stuff on and by far the winner is this Zella sweatsuit. The reason I like it so much is it feels like a pont material, so it's heavy and there's like good drape, but it has like a smoothness, almost as if it wanted to be shiny, but it obviously isn't. And so it's a fabric like I've never felt before. So it feels kind of like technical sweatpants, but technical not in the way necessarily where you're gonna go hiking, but like maybe these are trousers. Not only is it crazy comfortable and drapes beautifully, but like this is 100% what I'm gonna wear under a wool coat when I'm traveling on an airplane. These pants are honestly, do you see the, like, the subtle pleats and like the slash pockets? It's like trouser styling. And even in the back, you can still sort of like, 
they don't look like sweatpants. And so I want to show these pants to you guys with just a black cashmere sweater because I would 100% wear this outfit to work. I honestly like this so much, I might get it in another color. So next up is another sweatsuit. And this is like from Nordstrom's line and it's made out of, I think they call it like Lux Organic Cotton. It's a heavy knit that feels, well, it does feel like pretty darn luxurious actually. And this fit is oversized. I bought a small, which is my normal size in like freaking everything and it's giant. So I'm flipping over the waistband. I don't mind the slouchy hoodie, but I might actually try ordering the extra small just to see. That said, this stuff feels like just really high quality, indestructible. And it's another sort of sweatsuit set that I'm going to wear under wool coats when I travel. Each piece you can obviously wear by itself. So the Mizella sweatsuit might be my first pick, but this Nordstrom organic one is like a very close second. It's super cool. Okay. So my favorite sweaters in the end sale are like, you know, the Vince Cashmere sweater that we linked up below, but it's going to sell out in a hot second. So that said, we found a bunch of like just fun little sweaters. You you know, they're not going to be forever sweaters, but they're like cute. And so if you just want something cute and fun, like this is a good example, this little top shop number. I really like it. It's a little more cropped. It's not too hot because it has some like airiness to it. But we found, I don't know, like four total cute little sweaters. So if you head over to the mom edit, my try on post is dropping hopefully soon tonight for sure. And yeah, we'll have pictures of like the cute little sweaters we found. And some are in fact 100% cotton. So that's good. So I don't normally go for these like ridiculously cheapy little things from open edit, but this one is honestly like a little bit playful and so <laughs> ridiculously soft. It feels really good on my skin. It might just be polyester. I don't even know, but it's just like cool collar, a little bit of a V, you know, a shorter length. And it's just, it's just a good fun one. This one is by Free People. I think it is hundred percent cotton. I fell in love with the color. It feels really good on. It does feel like, you know, a little bit more luxurious than the others. It's a good one. I have to play around with styling it. We'll see. High hopes though. The other big wins in the Nordstrom sale so far, honestly, are just coats. Like if nothing else, get some coats. Reese makes a bunch of wool coats. They're all freaking fantastic. I owned this one from last year. It's back. It's great. I highly recommend it. I wear it all the time. It even looks good over dresses. Max Mara has a wool coat in the sale. That thing's going to sell out in a hot second. Mine is a couple years old. I wear it all the time. I've been actually kind of shocked by how often I wear that coat. And I'm actually really excited about Max Mara's puffer jackets in the sale this year. They're just like cool. They're just like super cool and different and pricey. But yeah, if you're going to splurge on one item, I highly recommend like one of these like beautiful coats. Theory has always made a gorgeous unlined wool coat and there's one in the sale that has like great lines, a great color. I really, really like this coat. Barbara Rain jackets are in the sale this year again. And this is another go-to piece of mine. And I really like the styling on this one. It's like a little bit longer, which is nice when it's raining, fully waterproof. And yeah, it looks kind of cool. Lastly, Zella has like a long line blazer that's made out of a sweatshirt material and it's tons of fun. I, the, the black was already sold out in store. So I picked up the light gray and while it does give slight bathrobe vibes, I don't hate it. Like I kind of like it. Yeah. These are my top picks so far. There's sweaters and jeans and boots and all that kind of stuff. But the, the sweat sets and the coats are really what I'm most excited about. We do have, if you're looking for jeans and sweaters and all that kind of good stuff, we do have a ton of coverage already already on the mom edit. So we have a whole end sale page that, you know, has all of our coverage just like organized really nicely. And if you go to like, I know I rounded up all my favorite pairs of jeans in the end sale in our true gems post. And the cheat sheet has a ton of good stuff, like black patents that are hundred, you know, whatever you could need in the cheat sheet, you'll be able to find, you know, and if you guys are interested, we do have a special newsletter that's going out just to people who want like this extra Nordstrom coverage. And the newsletter is very like rough <laughs> behind the scenes. And so that's kind of also the place where we're sort of like giving you guys a heads up. Like if we try on a pair of shoes, the fastest way we can tell you guys if they're comfortable or not. And especially the like uncomfortable shoes, we're just going to be like, avoid these in the news letter. So we'll put a link to sign up for that below. If you're interested, follow along through the wholesale on the blog, and we are going to do our best to keep exciting content coming out even as things sell out. Thanks for watching and see you soon.